Albert Bierstadt's painting Rocky Mountains, 1866, is a grand landscape depicting the breathtaking beauty of the Rockies. The painting is an awe-inspiring reminder of the vastness and grandeur of nature. The painting by John Mailer Collier, created in 1921, reflects the artist's attempt to evoke mood and sentiment rather than simply illustrate a text, showcasing pre-Raphaelite values that persisted into the 20th century. Georges de Latour's The Payment of Dues, Taxes, is a striking painting that depicts a group of peasants gathered around a table, counting and paying their taxes. The use of dramatic lighting and the artist's attention to detail make this work a masterpiece of the 17th century. Alfred Bastian's 1917 painting, Canadian Gunners in the Mud, depicts a scene of Canadian soldiers in the First World War, making their way through a muddy battlefield. The painting conveys the harsh reality of war, showing the courage and resilience of the Canadian troops. Edouard Manet's Woman Reading, Le Journal Illustre, 1879, is a beautiful portrait of a woman lost in her thoughts, reading a newspaper. The painting is unique in its use of vibrant colors and soft brushstrokes to bring out the woman's quiet grace and poise. Bride of the Wind by Oscar Kokoschka is a haunting portrait of the artist's former lover, Alma Mahler. The distorted features and vivid colors convey the intense emotions of the relationship while the swirling background suggests a sense of chaos and turbulence. The painting, Napoleon Crossing the Alps, by Jacques Louis David, depicts Napoleon Bonaparte on horseback, leading his army through the treacherous mountain terrain. Its dramatic composition and use of light and shadow make it a masterpiece of neoclassical art. This painting is an example of Gauguin's synthetist style, which combines vivid color and flattened forms to create a dreamlike atmosphere. It also symbolizes Gauguin's belief in the power of visions over reason. Nicolas Poussin's painting, Et in Arcadia Ego, is a masterpiece of the Baroque period. The painting features several classical figures, who are seemingly mourning the death of a shepherd. It symbolizes the inevitability of death, even in a paradise such as Arcadia. Takehisa Yumeji, Postcard 1912, is an iconic work of Japanese art that captures the essence of the Taisho period. The postcard features a young woman with a wistful expression, dressed in a flowing kimono, surrounded by delicate cherry blossoms. Movement by Vladimir Velikovich is an intriguing painting that depicts a distorted human figure in motion with bold brushstrokes and a dark color palette that conveys a sense of intensity and chaos. John William Waterhouse's painting, Hylas and the Nymphs, 1896, depicts a romantic story from Greek mythology. The painting captures the beauty and mystery of the moment when Hylas, a young man, is enticed away from his ship by the captivating nymphs. John Singer Sargent, Atlantic Storm, 1876, is a stunning oil painting that captures the raw power and beauty of a stormy sea. Sargent's masterful brushstrokes and use of light and shadow create a dramatic and immersive scene that draws the viewer in.
The Singing Butler is a well-known painting by Jack Vetriano, painted in 1992. It depicts a couple dancing on a beach while two servants look on. The painting is characterized by its romantic and nostalgic atmosphere and has become one of the most iconic images of 20th century Scotland. Vincent van Gogh, Lap with Hands in a Bowl, 1884, is an early painting by the famous artist, showcasing his early style. The subject matter is simple yet intimate, depicting a woman holding a bowl in her lap. The Great Wave Off Kanagawa is a famous woodblock print by Japanese artist Hokusai. It depicts a towering wave about to crash down on three fishing boats and is known for its striking composition, vivid colors, and dynamic energy. This painting is a triptych inspired by the poem Sweeney Agonistes by T.S. Eliot. It captures Bacon's signature style of abstracted and distorted figures. He uses bold colors and expressive brushstrokes to explore themes of alienation and loneliness. Garrett van Honthorst's painting of St. Sebastian, 1623, is a stunning Baroque artwork. It is an oil on canvas and shows St. Sebastian with an expression of intense suffering. His body is pierced by arrows and he is surrounded by a dark, rich background. The painting is a powerful and emotive work of art. Edouard Manet's painting, Boating, 1874, is an interesting example of Impressionism. The vibrant colors and blurred brush strokes used to create the impression of a sunny day on the water draw the viewer in. This painting is a modern interpretation of the classic painting by Velázquez Las Meninas. It was created by Pablo Picasso in 1957 and shows his unique Cubist style. This painting was created by renowned British Romantic landscape painter, J.M.W. Turner. It depicts the 1834 burning of the Houses of Parliament, showcasing the remarkable power of fire in a turbulent, eerie atmosphere. Animal and Woman by Emile Nolda is a striking expressionist painting that depicts a woman embracing a wild, snarling animal. The use of bold colors and dynamic brushstrokes creates a sense of raw emotion and primal energy.